Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy, and today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2024. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a pre-composition or a pre-comp and select the option, leave all attributes. So what exactly does it mean to leave all attributes is the purpose of this tutorial. To pre-compose an After Effects just means you're taking one layer or multiple layers and nesting or grouping them together to create a new composition. Leave all attributes will only be available to select if you have one layer selected. So if you have more than one layer selected and you pre-compose, this will not be an option. And this will not be an option if the one layer is either a text layer or a shape layer. I'll select the logo layer, right click, pre-compose. I can check leave all attributes. I'll select the text layer, right click, pre-compose. I cannot check leave all attributes because I had a text layer selected. I'll try the star, that's a shape layer, right click, pre-compose. I cannot check leave all attributes because it's a shape layer. I can select another pre-comp. Even if the pre-comp contains text layers and shape layers, if you select one pre-comp, remember one layer only, if I right click on this pre-comp and choose pre-compose, I can leave all attributes. On this logo layer, I have keyframes. I've added a bunch of effects. I have a drop shadow layer style. If I right click, choose pre-compose, the leave all attributes is available because I only have one layer selected. It is not a text or a shape layer. But what's going to happen is After Effects is going to create a new composition, the size of this layer. So in this case, it's gonna be the size of this logo. It's only gonna put the logo in the new composition. It's going to leave all of the attributes. So the keyframes, the effects, the layer styles, it's going to leave those on the outside. So the attributes are going to be on the composition, not inside the composition, which is what this option does. This option moves all the effects keyframes inside the composition. This option leaves everything on the outside. Okay. So I'm going to click. Okay. Now we have a new composition. And if you were looking at the effect controls, nothing changed because the effects, the keyframes, the layer styles, they remained on the outside in the main comp. But if I double click to open the pre-comp, the only thing in there is the logo layer. And the size of this new composition took the size of the original source layer, which in my case was the logo layer. If I right click on the pre-comp and choose pre-compose, the leave all attributes will still be available because I only have one layer selected and it's not a text or a shape layer. So now I can click OK on this new pre-comp. The effects, the layer styles, the keyframes remained on the outside. But if I double click to open, now I have a nested composition. No effects, no keyframes. If I double click on that, now I'm drilled down into the original layer so we're two layers deep, but all of the attributes are still on the outside. They were left out. Maybe you want to create a new pre-comp or a composition so it's easy to swap out a layer such as a logo or maybe you're doing a slideshow, but you want all of the effects to remain on the outside or on the main composition so it's easy to control the effects so you don't have to drill in every time you want to make a change. So then you would right click pre-compose, choose the option to leave all attributes. That way you've got this composition that you can just quickly swap out the layer, but all the effects and keyframes and everything that you were using on that layer remain on the outside. And now you know what it means to leave all attributes when you're pre-composing in Adobe After Effects CC 2024. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.